Hey everyone, welcome to how to graph quadratic equations in standard form. Remember that a quadratic equation is in standard form when it's written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are just real numbers. This is Nicholas JMV, so let's get started. So when I think about graphing uh, in standard form, there's a bunch of ways to do it. I'm going to show you kind of a shortcut I learned uh, today. You can always make a table of values, but the first thing I want to do is identify my values for A, B, and C. Okay, From here, determine if the parabola opens up or down. If A is greater than 0, remember that parabola is that U-shaped. We're going to open up. And A is, whoops, that would be less than 0. My apologies, less than 0 here. We would go down. And remember here, A does not equal 0. Okay, Because if it does, we would have a linear part. That that would go away. Uh, we're going to find the vertex h and k. So remember, h is your x value, k is your y value. And I'm going to use these two features. And, and this is just a quick trick to learn how to, how to do this. Okay, so uh, that x value here is actually going to be the h value your answer you get here. So just remember that that is going to be your h value right there we plug in. And then the last step is you got to find two more points to help us graph. In that case, we're going to use AX squared to help us. So I'm going to show you a trick how to graph these. Let's get started. So here we are. Okay. So uh, graph the function 2X squared minus 8X plus 3. So I'm putting another sheet of paper down there. Sorry. I didn't want to go over this. Okay. So we're going to graph this function. So again, the first thing I'm going to do, identify A, B, A, B and C. So A is equal to 2 b is negative 8, and c is 3. So what this tells me is that my parabola is going to open up. Okay, It's going to be that u-shaped. a is greater than 0. Now, we're going to find the vertex. Okay, So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for h. Okay, So h is equal to negative b over 2a. Okay, So let's substitute. So we're going to have the opposite of negative 8 over 2 times a, which is 2. Okay, so I have the opposite of 8, or negative 8, excuse me, is 8, so 8 over 4 is 2, so 8 over 4 is 2. So I found my x coordinate. Now, this is also called the axis of symmetry, and I'll show you what that is. So now I've got the first point of my vertex. Now I've got to find this point, okay, the, the k value. And so k is found by taking and looking at this portion right here. This is going to help us find k. So we're going to take 8 times, this is where that 2, there's that x, so the bx over 2 uh, plus c. So here is the x, so it's 2. So bx over 2, and it's always over 2, plus your c value, which is 3. Okay. So my k value ends up being, so that's 16 over 2, um, which is, whoops, negative 8, so um, negative 8 times 2, which is negative 16 over 2 is negative 8, negative 8 plus 3 is uh, negative 5, so there's my vertex. So let's kind of start this out here on our graph, okay? So we'll try to go in the middle here, and my vertex and axis of symmetry is 2, negative 5. So what this tells me is that I have this axis of symmetry. It's the middle. It di it's the divides the polynomial to be equal on both sides. So 2, negative 5 is 3, 4, 5 here. Parabola is going to open up. Now the last part is we need a couple of extra points. And this is where we use that ax that ax squared. So if we go one unit away, so we're going we're gonna to look at 2 times something squared. If I go one unit away, I can plug in 1 as my x, and I get 2, well, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, okay? That means I'm going to go one space over and 2 up, 1, 2. And it's got to be mirrored on both sides, so I can go 1 left and 1, 2 up. And so I have enough to graph my parabola, but I can do one more. So what happens if I go two spaces over from the vertex? So I'll put 2 in for x and squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So if I go two places over, 1, 2, I go up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? And then I can go left, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're right across from each other. It's symmetric. And there's my parabola opening up. So I can go ahead and sketch this. There's my first parabola. 
Okay, so that's a quick sketch of that parabola. And we're going to go ahead and do one more for you here, okay? I got a little head on the second one. So graph negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. So we're going to graph this parabola in standard form, and we're going to do the same things we did in the last example, exact same things. Identify a, b, and c. So we have a equals negative 2, b is positive here at 4, and c equals 3. So what this tells me is that my parabola is going to open down because a is negative, so it's going to look like this. It's going to go down. Okay. Now I'm going to find my axis of symmetry, and, or excuse me, my vertex, which is negative b over 2a. That's my h coordinate, my x coordinate, and uh, I'm going to put a negative 4 over 2 times negative 2, and that's going to give me 1. So my coordinate for the vertex so far is 1. That means the axis of symmetry here is 1. So let's go ahead and fill that in. It's that vertical line. Okay, now I need my k value. Remember, k is bx over 2 plus c. My x value is the h coordinate here. Okay, so I have 4. Right, b is 4, so we have 4 times 1 over 2, which is 2, plus c. So we have uh, 4 over 2, which is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot that. We go over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll go ahead and make some lines here. There, now my parabola is going to open down. Okay, so now this last part here is where we find our extra points. And so we use that ax squared term. So a is negative 2 here, so negative 2 times some number squared. Now let's go 1 to the right of our vertex. So we're going to plug in 1 here. And so that becomes 1 squared is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So that means if we go 1 over, we're going 1, 2 down. And then it's the same thing on the other side right here. Okay. Let's do one more set of points. If I go 2 over, 2 goes here. So I have 4. That's negative 8 units down. And so I go 1, 2 spaces over. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Count it down. 2 spaces left. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Good. It's right across from that point. So I counted right. And now I can sketch my parabola. Okay, so that is how you graph quadratics in standard form. This is a shortcut method. You can use a table, but I wanted to show you a couple interesting tricks I learned this week. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.